Okay. Let's talk about uh, the famous painting by John Trumbull that portrays Thomas Jefferson handing the Declaration of Independence to the President of the Continental Congress. Ah, yes, the Declaration of Independence, that beloved document that begins our country's history as a nation separate from England. Wouldn't we like to think that it happened just that way, with a very calm and very proud Jefferson casually sharing the document with the very wealthy John Hancock? Doesn't the portrait suggest a room full of men committed to a single idea of freedom for all people? And yet we know, historically, this moment never happened. All of these men who signed the Declaration of Independence never gathered together inside the Pennsylvania State House like this. We also know that, incidentally, uh, it, this, this never could have taken place. Just think that this scene is supposedly taking place at the end of June in 1776. That's full on summer. Have you ever been in Philadelphia in the summertime? Um, would you want to be there with a full suit, stockings, and fake wig on? Would you want to be in that room with all the windows closed? Um, so it's quite impossible, and yet it captures the special quality about the founding of our country that we want to believe in, that we want to believe is a part of our country's mythology. Everything seems as it should, the way the men are dressed, the looks on their faces, their postures, the furnishings in the room, the bright swath of light that illuminates the middle of the room. It all looks perfect. And we want to believe it. The question is then this, for your responses, if you can read a painting in the same way that you can read a document, what details in this painting show Trumbull's rhetoric in portraying this proud American moment? What emotions, what values, what logic is Trumbull portraying here? 